channel in this session we will discuss an introduction to bottom up parsing what is a parser parser is also called as a syntax analyzer so the main purpose is to check the syntax of tokens to check the syntax of the token if the syntax of the token is correct then it will generate the parse tree suppose if the syntax of the token is not correct then it will generate an error this is the purpose of parser this is the purpose of parser now coming to this bottom up parsing the name specifies we are moving in the bottom to top direction that means a parse tree is generated starting from the leaf node parse tree is generated starting from the leaf node moves in the upward direction moves in upward direction until we reaches the root node until we reaches the root node this is the general scenario but coming to the notations of parse tree how we will discuss simply starts from input string how a parse tree is generated a parse tree is generated that starts from input string and perform and re perform replacing of productions and then replacing productions moves to the start symbol moves to the starting symbol that means simply input string into the starting symbol in the reverse direction that is called bottom up parsing now i will let you one i will explain one example it is very easy to understand for example s tends to a a b c a tends to a b c or b b tends to d my input string is a b b c d c assume this is the given grammar and this is my input string now how bottom up parsing is performed in this input string starting from input string understand starting from input string here if any substring that is handle occur the handle is replaced with their production what is mean by handle handle is any substring that matches in the right hand side of any production small a so small a directly not appear b so b appears at this one so b is replaced with their non terminal a b c d c now check any other substring that matches now this is the substring that is this is the handle a this entire thing is replaced with a b c what it if you have a match that match is replaced with the left hand side variable now this is substring a a d is replaced with b now this entire thing yes what is the procedure we are starting from the input symbol that is input string moves in this upward direction and we are reaching the starting symbol this is called bottom up parsing this is called bottom up parsing now in the bottom up parsing generally we are deriving the string in the reverse direction so bottom up parsing the rightmost derivation in the reverse order suppose whatever we have discussed actually what happens it is happened in the reverse direction i will show you for example this is the grammar how to generate the string from this grammar s tends to a a b c always the generation starts from the start symbol now in the reverse direction so first we are replacing this non terminal a a b c next to replace this non terminal a a b c d c 
Next to the place this one terminal A, B, B, C, D, C. Got it? Exactly. What you had done in the last one. In the, this is the reverse direction. If I am given an input string, from this input string, you have to reach the starting symbol. This is the bottom of parsing. Okay. Now, the bottom of parsing is classified into two types. Bottom of parsing is classified into two types. One is LR parser. One is LR parser. Second one is operator precedence parser. LR parser and the second one is operator precedence parser. Now, this LR parser generates the parse tree for the given string. For example, I am given a grammar and a string. For the given grammar and for the string, it generates the parse tree. But the condition is the grammar must be an ambiguous grammar. You got it? So, what is the thing? The thing is either either LR parser or operator parser. The thing is you have to generate the parse tree for the given grammar for this particular input string. But in the process of generation, the grammar must be unambiguous grammar. Now, coming to this operator precedence parser, here the grammar must to be an operator grammar. The grammar must be an operator grammar. So, like regular grammar, context-free grammar, we have an operator grammar is also existed. What is mean by operator grammar? Simply, the right-hand side of any production does not contain two consecutive non-terminals and epsilon. That means, if you want to generate a parse tree, the grammar, that is the right hand side, does not contain no two consecutive non-terminals and epsilon. Two non-consecutive terminals and epsilon does not appear in the right hand side of any production. Then only it will generate the parse tree. Then only it will generate the parse tree. Now, move to LR parser. This LR parser is again classified into different types. LR of 0, SLR of 1, CLR of 1, and LALR of 1. Okay. So, this is the basic division. What is a bottom of parsing? What are the different classifications of bottom of parsing? So, in the next sessions, we will discuss one by one LR, SLR, CLR, LALR. And operators, precedence grammars with an examples. Thank you.